Emily is the embodiment of joy. You can't help but look at her and realize she's colorful, she's fun, she's energetic, full of life. My name is Amy, and I am my daughter Emily's mom and full-time caregiver. Emily was born with cerebral palsy. She was born full term, but because of an injury at birth, it caused brain damage. And so the lack of oxygen she experienced at birth affected parts of her brain that affect movement. She needs help to get dressed, to go places she needs to go. She drives a wheelchair for her mobility. If you know Emily, you'll begin to understand her, but it has affected her speech pretty significantly. My husband and I chose to be very proactive with her and help her to have every opportunity in life possible. We actually started horse therapy just as an activity for her and didn't realize how beneficial it would be. Then we moved back to Nebraska and had no idea at first that Hetra was here. And we live five miles away <laughs> and it's amazing. She first started out where she was having the hippotherapy, which is writing with an occupational therapist helping her. And she's progressed and gotten stronger to where now she's doing therapeutic writing and loves it. <laughs> it's the highlight of her week. Well, it's mine too. I see her just looking free doing something that she loves. I wouldn't miss watching her for the world because it's her sport, it's her thing, and it's just incredible as a parent to see that. And I'm so thankful that I get to watch her do that. I feel like I am Wheelchair. It's a therapy, but it's fun. And there are just so many opportunities provided to students here. Now with adding the life skills class, I can't think of somewhere that you could make more of a difference on so many people. The life skills program was designed that we can bring individuals into our facility here at Hetra, where they can support both the staff and the animals. It gives them a chance to learn new tasks, to find out different things that they possibly could do um, for employment, and also it provides community. The class this summer was amazing. There was so much going on, so much to learn. Everything from the different types of writing, like Western and English, the parts of a horse. So a very important part of grooming a horse is picking their feet. And you have to pick the sand and the clay and the mud out uh, to keep it clean so it doesn't build up. It can be uh, an interesting process for an able-bodied individual, let alone someone who has a limitation. I tell you what, it was seamless and amazing and that speaks to Emily's ability to be the fearless individual that she is and to the Hetra staff who were able to work hand over hand with Emily to to get her right up close and personal with the horse, holding the pick the way it needs to be held and having her do it properly and safely uh, was an amazing thing to watch. My son's fairly active in the community so a lot of his friends come out here and a lot of kids that, that we hadn't known before Life Skills will meet in the community and to be able to see them open up it always brings a smile to my face. When I look at the future for Emily it's become so much more hopeful because of Hetra and the life skills class that they've had. She loves to learn and she loves to have somewhere to go and feel a part of something and to continue to gain skills. So we're really, really thankful for that. 